Hands over the middle, and it's caught by Houston. He breaks through two tacklers. He's ahead of everyone. He's going down the far side line, down the 30-yard line. He's 10 yards ahead of the field. A touchdown. Wow. 81 yards. Well, hello, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this video, and welcome to the gridiron. And before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone out there who's been watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you give this video a thumbs up or maybe leave a comment below or share the video, I really, really appreciate it. But thank you. Thank you so much for taking time to watch the video. Thank you. I just want to do a little quick little uh, preview here of the, the, uh, the game. Uh, tonight between the uh, the Jets and the Giants preseason game. I'll tell you what, guys. <laughs> and we only got three preseason games, so usually we got four. Um, and and they they just go a bit just like that. Before you know, it's the, uh, the the preseason the season's over and the regular season starts. But um, it's hard to believe it's here already. But um, just want to give a little preview here. Uh, now. Um, Joe Judge is mentioned like this game here, the first game, preseason game, is going to be used as kind of like the way the fourth preseason games always used to be. Was, uh, you know, the way the fourth preseason games that the, the, all the starters used to be <laughs> on the sideline, laughing it up, having a good time, and all the guys, you know, trying to make the team. They're the ones out there playing the second, third, fourth stringers or whatever. They're out there getting all the snaps. So he's going to use this game um, quite a bit like the way, you know, they usually use the fourth game uh, in, in the past. Now, I mean, obviously Daniel Jones isn't playing. Mike Lennon's going to start. Uh, obviously no Saquon. There's going to be uh, said no Lorenzo Carter. So there'll be a lot of, a lot of guys... Um, you know, who are starters who probably won't participate. Um, he said, you know, some of the guys, he'd have to talk it over to, like, maybe the doctors or the trainers, some of the guys that might be a little nicked up or whatever, he'll be talking about that to see if anybody, you know, uh, he'll be sitting anybody else. But, uh, you know, you, know, <laughs> you got to talk about, like, the offensive line. Uh, if you sit all the starters, you know, <laughs> I mean, I did a video with the um, the, uh, the depth chart, you know. So you sit all the offensive linemen, Nate Solders, like the backup tackle to the right and the left, and you only have one other tackle on the, on the depth chart. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, according to the depth chart, if he sits all the starters, he's only going to have maybe like one tackle in there. I don't know. but So it'll be interesting to see if any of the starting offensive linemen play. Um, you know, and if they do for how long, but uh, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting. You know, it's going to be interesting. Um, you know, he says um, the third game, the one against the Patriots, that'll be kind of like the dress rehearsal, like the way the, the the third preseason game have been in the past. You know, I mean, like the usually in the past when it was the four games, the first game, the the, um, uh, the first team goes out there for like maybe a. You know, a series, couple series, you know, maybe two, maybe, maybe the first full quarter. Then the second preseason game, the, the offensive, uh, the starters, you know, um, play, you know, at least the first quarter, maybe a little more than a quarter, quarter and a half or whatever. And then the third preseason game uh, was where, like, the starters, like, kind of like a little dress wrestle, they'll play it maybe the full half, maybe a little bit into the third quarter. And that's where he said he was going to use uh, the Patriots game because you got the uh, the Jets and you got the Browns and you got the Patriots. So the Patriots game, the third preseason game, is that'll be like the dress rehearsal. That's when you'll start seeing, you know, um, hopefully, I guess, you know, the starters in there for at least maybe a, a half. Okay. Uh, so then maybe next week against the Browns, uh, we'll see some starters in there for like maybe at least, you know, hopefully maybe a quarter or so. Have to wait and see. But Joe Judge did, you know, emphasize, you know, he, he wanted to see the guys, you know, especially the guys on the bubble, you know, getting some time you know, out there because he, what he was mentioning is like after this game, he's going to let five guys go. Then um, 
after uh, the Browns game, you got to let another five guys go. So he wants to get some guys out there. He doesn't want to shortchange anybody. You know, he wants to make sure everybody has an opportunity. You know, he wants to make it where if, you, if we have to let you go, it's because you didn't produce. It's not we. You know, we didn't give you an opportunity. You you had an opportunity and you didn't produce. So it's it's your fault. Um, so it's you know it'd be interesting to see. Um, one of the things you know you like to see, especially you know when you got all pretty much predominantly backups in there, you you don't want to see like you know like being a um, you know turnovers you know left and right you know running backs fumbling the ball, quarterbacks just throwing you know you know wide receivers dropping the ball. You don't want to see a boatload of penalties, stupid things like, like it's like the guys that never played football before, guys jumping offside and all kinds of silly, stupid things. You know, I mean, if, if it's not, obviously it could probably maybe be the most entertaining football to look at, but at least be presentable, you know? And of course, obviously, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, you don't want any injuries. I mean, it even if you you know don't have your starters in there, you you know you you don't want anybody getting hurt on either team, but I mean you know we're, we're, we're for the Giants you know you you don't want anybody getting hurt you know I mean it's bad enough in spring training to practice and all of this we got guys getting hurt you know, but you know you want guys going to come out of the game relatively healthy. Of course there's going to be some nicks and bruises and all, but hopefully nobody you know has you know not go on any season ending injuries, you know. That's that's the huge thing. And then um, you know, it's, it's the Jets, okay. So this is also bragging right so too. Um, you know, it, it, if if you're not number one in your own city, you know, how do you expect to wind up going out you know, and I know it's just preseason, I get that, okay. But it's not preseason to everybody, okay. The uh, you know, you know the owners you know they get a little uh, you, know, you know it's not quite preseason to the owners right the owners spend some money you know the owners build, hopefully building a team this that and other thing and if you know I mean losing a tight game you know competitive game especially if you got your second third stringers out there if they're if your guys are giving it their all, you know, the Jets, they're giving it their all, and you lose a close game 20 to 17, 23 to 20, you know, oh, that's, you know, especially as to the owner, you know, that's not going to make them totally happy, but, you know, okay. Now, if we were, I don't think it's going to happen, okay, but if we were to get embarrassed, okay, oh, I'll tell you what, that uh, Mr. Mara's blood pressure's going to start rising, okay? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the Jets, okay, that you're sharing a stadium with them. This, you know, you're in New York, they're in New York, all right? This is, this is a special, special game, okay? Um, it, 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 cost, it cost a coach his job one time. The first time the uh, Giants and the Jets ever played preseason was in 1969. The year before that, in 1968, was when the Jets, you know, Joe Namath and all that, they won Super Bowl three. <laughs> the only Super Bowl they won. <laughs> the only time they went to a Super Bowl. And they won it, okay? Um, and the, the Giants and the Jets played in the Yale Bowl. Um, and the head coach for the Giants was Ali Sherman. Uh, now he, you know, Ali Sherman... Uh, took over in 1961. Okay, so from 1961 he coached until 1968. The first uh, three years that Ali Sherman coached the Giants, they went to the championship game. Now he inherited a bunch of good players, Hall of Famers. Okay, and he just kind of managed, and you know they and they went to the championship game. They lost all three of them. Okay, um, but you know so he inherited a really good team. After the teams. Uh, started some of the guys started retiring. They started trading some guys away. They, they wanted to start getting younger. And all they really, <laughs> they, they 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 did pretty bad. Okay, and um, Wallington Mara, who, who was owner of the team at the time, uh, you know he was you know kind of getting a little you know 
a little antsy. You know, you kind of wanted things to kind of turn around a little bit. But by, by the time 1969 rolled around, okay, the Jets and the Giants started playing preseason games. It was the first one ever, okay, was in the Yale Bowl in 1969. Well, the Jets, as I said, just won the Super Bowl. And the Jets came in, and the Jets beat the Giants 37 to 14. Embarrassed the Giants big time. Joe Namath threw for three touchdown passes, okay? <laughs> and after the game was over, Wallington Mara had had enough. He fired coach Ali Sherman, right? It was, uh, it was just be Ali Sherman was, was the coach in 69 uh, of preseason. He didn't even make it to the regular season, okay? Uh, right after that, uh, Wallington Mara hired uh, Alex Webster, a former player for the Giants. He hired Alex Webster to be, to be their uh, head coach. He, Alex Webster coached from 1969 to 1973. Um, but, uh, you know, it embarrassed the Giants. The Jets embarrassed the Giants, 37 to 14. Made them look really bad. Now we can bring that up to 2021, okay? Now why is that? Okay. Well, because the Jets were just picked second, okay, uh, to have a rookie quarterback in there. Jets are not really expected to do much big things this year, okay. But the Giants also have a new coach, okay, Joe Judge, all right. They chose Joe Judge. Who else was out there at the time when the Giants chose Joe Judge? Robert Sala. He was out there, too. He could have, they could have had him as well. So the thing is, is that, you know, that, you know, we're spending all this money in the off season. You know, we got all the we, we got a boatload of coaches. You know, um, you know, you know, you know, we got a lot riding on this season, okay. And if you got a first year coach, Robert Sala, okay, coming in, all right, and he's he's you're New York, he's New York. You could have had him. That he's got a bad team, and if he comes in and embarrasses you in preseason. Boy, I tell you what, <laughs> Mr. Mara's blood's going to start boiling. This this might be strike number one against Joe Judge. I don't think it's going to happen. We might lose. I don't think we're going to get embarrassed by no stretch of imagination. I said if we lose, it'll certainly be a one-score game, well, I, I, I think, all right, if we lose, okay? But I said, but if, <laughs> if we get embarrassed, okay, by uh, Mr. Uh, Robert Sala and those Jets. Tell you what, this would be strike one against Joe Judge, and it might be strike two and a half to being very close to three to Dave Gettleman. We have to finish the season out, of course, but if I'm just, just saying, if we lose and we get embarrassed by the Jets, by a coach that we could have had, all right, the, the year before we took Joe Judge, don't think that this isn't going to start ticking off Mr. Mara because it will. I can guarantee you. Well, as always, guys, thank you, thank you.